Hi, and welcome to uh, Vimesy's vids. Uh, this is a look at Prison Architect, uh, mainly because it's another one of those videos that I've gone on about on the show, which is a game of podcast bits and pieces, just to get the plug in. Um, and it's a, a blindingly good game. It has one small flaw in that it doesn't tell you what the hell is going on ever. Um, the tutorial is, is good, but it's very basic. Uh, it doesn't take you through the actual open world steps that you'll need to do to create your prison and, and, and initially get the funding to be able to do it. So all I'm going to do is talk you through your opening few moves if you want. Um, so this is Prison Architect, I hope you can see it alright. And this is what opens up as soon as you click on the game, there's no menu, there's no uh, loading screen or anything, like just boom straight to here. And what you'll have is a truck coming down here with, with workmen in it, as you can see. Um, the first thing to do is to hit this button here, which is pause. If I click play again, this is what happens. It starts coming in, your timer starts ticking, your clock is going around to the top, people are coming in. You haven't at this moment in time any clue what you're going to be building here. And what you're doing is you're wasting time. So these guys are going to turn up and they're just going to mill around for ages while you work out whether you want to put a fence up first, whether you want to build a holding cell, whether you want to put power plants in, whatever. So just to cut yourself some slack click the pause button give yourself a breather and start thinking about things um, one of the first things to mention here is you're only given 10 grand at the start now 10 grand won't get you very far in this game at all it'll build you maybe a holding cell and you'll be scrimping and saving a little bit there are much easier ways to get some cash and to get your, your initial prison sorted the first thing we need to look at over here is this to-do list. This is very much, think of it like a a, a kind of to-do list is in um, an MMO, for example, like WoW or Guild Wars. It tells you what to do. Go here, do this. Um, and it will normally give you um, ideas of what's coming up or, or, or there may be bonuses in which to do things. So, for example, the first one, read the CEO's letter. So I click on that and it will give you the CEO letter. Now, it will give you... A very basic introduction to what you need to do to so hire a warden, um, start by just building a holding cell rather than individual jail cells, get a kitchen and canteen up and running first, um, don't forget to hire the cooks, um, water, blah, 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 blah. Once you've done that, close it. In fact, the you know, best way to do it, this won't remove unless you actually delete the letter. To delete it, then it disappears off your to-do list. Eight prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. Um, okay, so that gives me... 23 hours and 46 minutes before these guys I haven't even put a foundation down yet and it's telling me prisons are turning up shortly so first thing I need to do is, is look at what I've got layout wise um, this is the put the initial patch of ground you've got uh, your delivery is going to set up here your garbage is going to be here and that's going to be picked up and taken away all right uh, so it's it's a fair it's, it's, I haven't exceeded this yet in my hours of gameplay on it um, purely because I'm trying to still get it right just to, you know, if I could last a week with uh, you know, 20 odd prisons I'd be quite happy. Uh, there are some mega prisons out there with like hundreds of hundreds of prisoners, hundreds of inmates and I'm just sitting there thinking that's going to be a nightmare to manage. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So the first thing you want to do, before you do anything else before you start planning, is go over here where it says reports. Open this up. This is where it's kind of your 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 file of, of the prison so here's your staff these are the prisoners we're high risk we're closed normal risk we're open low risk we're closed if you want to give yourself a little breather not have these guys pitch up close your prison okay you close your prison you then effectively take away your time uh, limit you can go and build and take as long as you want. Obviously, bear in mind, you're not going to be getting any income while you have no prisoners. So the, for every prisoner you have in, you get a certain amount of money. I think for a high-risk prisoner, you get, uh, I think it's $300, uh, I think, or pounds, whatever you want to call it. Normal risk is 2 and low risk is 100 per day per prisoner. Um, so you might want to think about doing that. Um, for now I'm just going to open it and you can do that up to the very last minute if you are planning your prison and your time is clocking and you've got half an hour to go before the prison and you haven't finished the fence yet click that boom puts it off okay so I'm going to leave that closed for the time being just to stop me having to worry about it 
jobs you've got jobs here we can't do anything with jobs yet because we haven't allocated any jobs this will end up being a massive list saying workman's been assigned to fit pipe or you know um, the guard's been assigned to open a door or something like that they, they will fit in here needs you need a psychologist to get this this basically will tell you what your prison's demanding contraband this is again something you unlock down through the staff um, uh, sorry the bureaucracy menu um, regime policy um, these again unlockables when you unlock things in the bureaucracy department grants this is the thing you want to do you have 10 grand here are the grants that you can take okay you can get 40 grand straight off the bat just by doing that you click it boom you get a 40 grand grant increase 50 grand in your bank you now have a tick list of things you need to do that's if you complete that you'll get an extra payment that's what they're saying they're, we're paying you 40 grand in advance and you will you, we will expect you to build that when you do that they might well give you a little bonus at the end same thing over here administration center we're going to give you 10 grand to build an administration center for us get it now cell block eight yep yeah, get it now 90 grand off the bat you haven't done anything you you know you've gone from 10 grand to 19 grand in your bank at some point you're going to do this anyway okay you're going to be building this anyway but don't worry if you don't it's not going to penalize you for it i'm not going to say give us the money back at any point it's there to try and direct you and try and help you and try and give you a tick list of things that you need to do your missions if you like should you choose to accept them um again finance here you need an accountant valuation is something different again you need your your um, accountant to be able to do that so let's close that down so all these guys turning up now what you can do is you can go into here and you can go into planning and it gives you the option to you know draw walls up and say i want this bit area here to be my yard and this bit here to be my toilets uh this bit here to be whatever um you know left click and right click left click draws things right click deletes them objects pathways you can do all that kind of thing personally um i just build um and the, the only thing to say about building and this is stuff you're all going to have to learn as you go through think about where your prison is you're going to have fences all the way around here um you're going to have deliveries and stuff here you, your first thing you're going to need to build whatever you want to do is your utilities okay you'll see as soon as you click the utilities menu this closes down what you need first and foremost is a power station and a water pump you need that there's no you know there's no two ways about it you, you cannot get by that there. so get your power station um, and go and stick it down somewhere get your water pump go and stick that down somewhere it doesn't really matter where I like to what well, it does matter um, and then come out of it and you'll see they're there they're queued waiting to go if I free up the time again these guys will start put it onto fast time so maybe you'll see them start doing something that's saying please build me this here now okay and waiting the materials the materials are coming along they'll get delivered and then they'll start building stuff okay so utilities are going to get built um and then it's just a question of doing whatever the utilities will get built you might want to put you know you've got your, your materials here for putting brick walls up concrete walls and whatever first thing i tend to do is go and find myself uh, some fencing here and i go and say right i want a fence built all the way around my prison no, from there to there, from there to there, and all the way around the border of my prison, just to make sure that when the prisoners do get dropped off, if I'm not ready for them, they can't leg it off this patch of ground. Um, I put these power stations in the middle somewhere so that when I build my holding cell up here, my administration cell down here, my cell blocks over here, my yard, whatever, these are kind of in the middle so that they are ready to go. Um, and normally I would fence them in as well. Uh, I'm not going to have time to go through sort of how you should play this because to be honest the fun part of this game is working that out yourself okay it's go in and experiment and and play with stuff and build things and you know watch where things go wrong lay your foundations down assign it a room see where things go wrong that's all i've been doing for ages is just messing about getting it wrong starting again i mean i must have rebuilt tens of prisons because it's fun. I love this initial part of looking at my prison and working out what on earth I want to do with it. Um, it's just a great game. So, you know, if you are in on the early access and you don't quite know what to do with it, I hope this has helped you just get your kind of your aura in, if you like. Oops. Um, so, yeah, go play. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you want me to look at anything in particular and I'll try and help you. Um, otherwise, yeah, go have fun. It's all right.